Hello boys and girls, it's me, Miss Jennifer. Welcome to Circle. I'm glad you're here. Yesterday I did something kind of silly. I put the video on, but I wasn't doing it where anyone could see it. It was on, but you couldn't see it, and I didn't know you couldn't see it. So today I have it set correctly. <laughs> I'm still learning how to do this. I'm used to doing circle in a room on a circle rug with lots of children doing the actions with me right back to me. So it's a little bit different doing it to a camera in my living room. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. I can see friends are arriving. I'm going to use the magic mirror. And, oh, there's Grady and Ainsley and Mira. Good morning, boys and girls. I see Jordy, and I see Cece, and I see Rand and Reagan. Oh, so many friends are at Circle today. I see Nash and Mason, and I see Sage and Bennett. Who's that over there? Is that you, Una? I see Una, and I see Arena and Kai and Adam. Welcome to Circle. I see, who's that? Oh, I see Cece and Sybil and Sadie too. Easton and Livy and Elena. <gasps> Hello, welcome. So many friends in circle today. I'm really glad to see your happy faces. Is the sun shining where you are? It is shining here and it is a beautiful day. Hi, Lorenzo. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Rand. Hello, Regan. And I see Indiana and Verbena and Wilder and Reiner and Ben and Caleb. Welcome. And I see Antonio and Ariana and Lily and Theodore. Hi. And Flora and Leela and Oliver. My goodness. And Ava and Olivia and Sienna and... If I didn't say your name, don't worry, I see you too. Welcome to circle time. I'm gonna put the magic mirror up and over the camera. <gasps> you can see me and I can see you. Hi Parker, hi Emma, hi Kennedy, hi Mackenzie, I see you too. And Carter and Ridley, wow, welcome back. It's good for all of us to be together again. Max and Rachel, Tilly and Colin, I see you too. All right, boys and girls, first and foremost, before I do anything else, I need to blow some bubbles. Are you ready? It's time to blow bubbles. You like to do this at home? I can't usually do it inside except over a rug because if I do it over the wooden floor it might get slippy. So over a rug or a blanket I can do it and outside is the best place for this. I wanted to see if you could see the bubbles. Here they come. Oh my goodness boys and girls did that surprise you? It did? It made you smile? Oh good. Here we go again. <laughs> I love blowing bubbles. Don't you wish you could catch them? Oh, 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 oh. I don't have enough hands to blow them and catch them. Oh, maybe I'll do some more bubbles later. Bubbles are a fun, fun activity in the toddler room at Helping Hands. We love bubbles. You know who else we love? Clifford. Clifford the big red dog. He's a fan favorite at Circle. We make him talk. We say, hello, I'm Clifford. And we tell him stories and give him hugs. He's a sweet pup. Well, recently I was given some, um, some stickers that have Clifford on them. And I thought it would be nice for Clifford and I to share with all of you what they say. Because guess what? They're affirmations, just like the affirmations we have at school. 
their true statements about you and you and you and me and Clifford too. Would you like to hear some? Let's see if Clifford can nod. <laughs> he says yes, he would like to hear some. They say, I'm a good friend. You are a good friend. Well, this is true. I like to play. Do you like to play? You do? Just like Clifford the Big Red, Big Red Dog? I show respect for others. These are so true. You are respectful to others. When you remember to say excuse me or wait your turn for something, that's you being respectful. I am a good helper. Are you a good helper? I know you're a good helper, Rand. I was visiting through the window at Rand's house and his mom shared with me that he sometimes helps Swiffer the floor. Vacuuming and Swiffering are two ways to help at your house. You're a good helper, Rand. And I know that all of you know a way to help at home too. Because at school we have jobs, don't we? Some of the jobs we have are very, very helpful to our teachers. One of the jobs is watering the plants. We say, when you get that job, we say you are the gardener for the day. And at school, we have some plants that need drinks of water and you might have some inside your house or outside your house. And maybe lady, later today, you could give those plants a drink. Does that sound like a good idea? I think it does too. Let's see. I have a song to sing about an inchworm. Hello. If you don't know what an inch is, I can show you. An inch on a ruler or measuring tape like this is the distance between the two lines. That right there, that's about one inch. Inch, it's tiny. And sometimes in the spring, when you go outside, you might see an inchworm. You can make one with your finger like this. See? Can you do that with your finger, boys and girls? One finger, bend it, stretch it. Bend it, stretch it. Bend it, stretch it. <gasps> You're making inches. There's a song we like to sing at Helping Hands called Inch by Inch, right? And it has to do with a little inchworm like this, crawling along, measuring things. Inch by inch, row by row, I'm gonna make my garden grow. All I need is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. What is fertile ground? Fertile ground is soil or dirt that you can plant things in. When I was a little girl, I liked to sing this song, but I thought they were saying turtle ground. <laughs> it's a funny thing to think about the ground covered with turtles. That would never grow. A garden full of turtles? I don't think it would grow. <laughs> Let's sing it again. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All I need is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. I do this because that's like picking up dirt in your hand and rubbing it between your fingers. You know it's rich soil for planting seeds. Have you done any seed planting at your house? You have? Are you excited that they might grow into something? That's one of my favorite parts about nature, is watching the flowers grow. How about you and I pretend that we're a seed, okay? And we'll pretend the bubbles are like the rain falling on us. 
And when the rain falls on you, you can start to grow. So a seed needs soil, fertile soil, rain, and what's the other thing? It's big and hot, round in the sky. Oh, I heard you, the sun, that's right, the sun shining down. Those are the three things a seed needs to grow. Soil, rain, and the sun. All right, we're gonna pretend we're a seed. So you're gonna get yourself all curled up in a ball. Can you curl up in a ball? Really tight, curl up like a ball. A seed planted under the soil. All right, I see you all folded up. Wow, good folding. Hi, Noah, great job. Okay, so now the bubbles are going to be rain falling on you. You're doing a great job staying still, just like a seed planted under the dirt. Here comes the rain. <laughs> Did it land on you? Here's some more. <laughs> the bubbles are the rain falling. Rain is falling, rain is falling, falling down, falling down. Alla, 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 round, all around. Now you should start to grow through the soil, start to come out of your seed and be a sprout. I see some sprouts over there. Great sprouting, boys and girls. You're getting taller and taller and taller. What kind of plant are you gonna be, Mira? How about you, Emma? What kind of plant will you be, Rand? I wonder. We could be a cucumber plant. We could be a blade of grass growing. We could be a tulip flower. <gasps> Miss Deb gave me a tulip flower. Would you like to see? You would? Okay, I'll be right back. Keep growing. See? Oh, a carrot. That's a great thing to grow into. Look at this beautiful flower. It grew in Miss Deb's garden. Emma said she wants to be a pink flower. This is a pink flower. Mira said a tulip flower too. That would be a beautiful garden, to have a garden full of Mira tulips. I like that idea. Easton, what kind of flower are you gonna be? Or maybe you won't be a flower, maybe you'll be a tree. Big, tall oak tree. <laughs> Look at the flower, how it's opening up. Can you do that? You've just grown really tall and tall and uh, leaf has come out and you're really tall. And now you're gonna blossom into a beautiful bud. Look at that. It's so pretty. Look at you, you're so pretty. Flowers all over Belfast and Waldo County, in the world. <laughs> My friend Lorenzo and Charlie are down in Arizona. Do you have flowers in Arizona? Or is it too hot right now? It's exciting to think about how we all come from different places and it might be cold where you are. I can't wait to do some planting. My mom sent me some, what are they called again? Peas, peas. She said I could plant them. And if I put something like a stick in the ground, that the plant, the pea plant, would come out and twist around that stick as it grows. I can't wait to see that happen. Ah, uh, what am I forgetting? Did we talk about the letter of the day? No, we didn't? Okay, okay, okay. The letter of the day, the letter of the day. Oh, where do I find the letter? 
Does anybody see my mailbox? Mailbox! <laughs> it's behind me. Oh, silly Jennifer. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep. I see the mailbox. What's in the mail today? What's in the mail, friends? You think it's a letter? Let's see. You're right. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder what it will be. Oh, it's the letter of the day. It's a letter. That's right, the letter J. J starts words like jump and jog and jelly beans. <laughs> what about a name? Mira, your mom's name starts with J. J starts the name Jess and it starts the name James, Mr. James at our school. And who else has a name that starts with J? J, J. Jennifer, my name starts with J, doesn't it? J is my, today's my name, my letter day. J is for Jennifer. J is for jump. J is for jog. J is for jewelry. I have some jewelry here, pretty, and jewels. What goes really fast across the sky? Lightning does, but also something man-made. <gasps> A jet plane, vroom! <gasps> jellyfish, I love to draw jellyfish, you're right. Jellyfish are one of my favorite J words. Oh, here's something, a glass of juice. It's a picture of a glass of juice. June bug, that's right, we're in May and soon it'll be June and the June bugs will come. Hmm. Juggle, juggle's a great J word. Does anybody know how to juggle? No, neither do I. <laughs> hmm. Jack? Jack is another J name. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over the candlestick. Do you know what? You could put anything in that. If you don't have a candlestick, it could be anything. You could say, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over your Clifford dog. <laughs> Ooh, do you like to pretend to jump? over something. Do you want to do it with me? Okay, I'm going to make Clifford jump while you jump at home. Clifford be nimble, Clifford be quick, Clifford jumps over the candlestick. Woo! <laughs> He's a good jumper. Uh, let's see. Clifford be quick, Clifford be nimble, Clifford be quick, Clifford jumps over the candlestick. Can you jump at home? All right, I'll do your names. Rand be nimble, Rand be quick, Rand jumps over the candlestick. Great jumping, Rand. Emma be nimble, Emma be quick, Emma jumps over the candlestick. Emma jumped too. Easton be nimble, Easton be quick, Easton jumps over the candlestick. Is there some jumping going on at your house too? Mira, Mira be nimble, Mira be quick, Mira jumps over the candlestick. Oh boy, look at you. Daphne's joining. Daphne, we're jumping. If you want to jump with us, you can. Daphne be nimble. Daphne be quick. Daphne jumps over the candlestick. Good job, boys and girls. Kai be nimble. Kai be quick. Kai jumps over the candlestick. <laughs> Sybil be nimble. Sybil be quick. Sybil jumps over the candlestick. My friends, you are really good at jumping. Jordy, Jordy, Jordy's name starts with J. Today's Jordy's name day too. Jordy, Jordy be nimble, Jordy be quick, 
Jordy jumps over the candlestick. Nice jumping. Boys and girls, you're really good at this. All right, there's one more thing I see here. A little rain jacket. That's right, jacket is a word that starts with J. I wonder who could this could fit. That's one of the smallest little jackets I've ever seen. <laughs> well, boys and girls, I am going to get ready to sing goodbye. It's been lovely being at Circle with you today, and I hope that if it's the right time for your mom and dad, if you can do some planting, that you get to do it today. And remember, inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All I need is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Not turtle ground, fertile ground. Remember to be safe, be gentle, and be kind. I'll see you next time. I love you boys and girls.